What you see is a sump pump discharge line that has broke underground. I'm going to explain to you why this happened. I'm going to explain to you how to fix it. And I don't care where you are in the world. Whatever you do, don't worry about the vanity of your home. This all happened because of vanity. In the 60s, when this house was built, there was no codes. There was no code enforcement. You can see that they only went through the wall midway. They didn't want to come out up here where we normally come out, where we drill through the band board that holds the joists, and we come out through the brick veneer in this case. This is a bad idea no matter where you live, whether it's in the south or the north. You want to come up high, come up and out of the house, out of the basement, high. And then you drop it into a pitched sump pump discharge line to the area of discharge. Now we went ahead and we cored through the brick veneer and then punched through the band board that's holding the floor joists. And we're going to run this inch and a half outside and then drop it down into the discharge line. In the north here, when you come out midway and then up, like this was done in the 60s, now the water that's left in the line when you get outside of the home can freeze. And that's what happened, and that's what broke this sump pump discharge line and created this basically mess outside of the home. So if you see this in your contractor... Quote the homeowner to go inside and do some indoor plumbing. You're going to need to core through the house and just come up and out higher to prevent this from becoming a problem. This is a bad idea no matter where you live. All right, everybody, until that next video.